I'm gonna share with you today the one thing that I know about that will absolutely catapult your business into momentum. Hi everyone, this is Tony Van Schoik, Network Marketing Professional. I'll take about 15 to 20 minutes of your time. This is all you need to learn and become an expert at, and this is all that you and your team needs to learn to become experts at. So forget about training, forget about you know doing any, any back office activities. And I know that might be challenging to do, but I will tell you that you've got to be on the front end of these activities in order to make a paycheck. And that's what it's all about when you first get started. So I'm gonna talk about two different things. Number one, what I do with a brand new consultant or rep or a market partner or stylist or whatever you might call them, this is what I'm going to do with them. And I'll star the three things, but there are seven key steps that you have to do to be successful in network marketing. So let's get started. The first thing is, is that when a brand new person comes into your business, they have to have three tasks that they have to have back to me within 24 hours. And the first one is their why, okay? So let's talk about your why. Your why needs to be why you would wake up every day and work this business. So your why should have a heartstring to it. It should have emotional content. Basically, your why should make you cry. Okay, but there's a couple of things that, that we do in this industry. This industry is for both men and women, but women specifically, they want to do things for everybody else but themselves. So I'll give you uh, a challenge. The first thing is, is that yes, if you have a family, pick something for your family and that's fine. Maybe then you pick something for your partner or a parent, okay? But the third thing is you. There has to be in your why, and you don't have to do these first two, there has to be a specific reason for you. And then, you know what? There's a fourth thing, I lied. Charity, slash give back. Really important, you guys. Because a lot of times that we wanna give back or we wanna volunteer, but we don't have the time because we work too much or we have kids or we have life that's happening. We get that, but you need to sit down. If you're, in, if you're thinking about network marketing or maybe you're in a company right now and you've never written down your why, you've gotta figure it out. It's gotta pull at you emotionally. And um, when I first started, my why was a lot different. My why was I wanted to get our house payment caught up on. That was my big why at that time. So the thing about it is, is that no matter where you are in your life, you know what, you're gonna have a why. You know what, maybe your son or daughter wants to play hockey or take dance classes or horseback riding. Anything that you know that's an extracurricular activity, it's, it, it, it's expensive, right? So that could be a family thing for your children. Maybe your partner or parent, okay, maybe they love to rebuild cars. Maybe, um, you know, they would like to take a trip somewhere. Maybe uh, you would like to take them on a family trip somewhere together. You know, like everybody go to Disney, uh, you know, for their Christmas decorations. Whatever the case may be, that's great. But this is the big one right here. You have got to be in the forefront for the why, because the thing about it is, is that that will motivate you just as much as anything else. And it could be as simple as a shoe fund. Maybe you want a new kitchen. Maybe you want to go to a, you know, a place on your bucket list for travel. Whatever the case may be, that why has got to have that component in there. It has to have the you component. So the why is a big thing. Now, the second and third thing, they're almost interchangeable, but I put the income first because sometimes income is unrealistic, but the time is not. So the time is the third thing. These two have to be congruent. 
because if they're not congruent, your expectations of what you're gonna be able to do with your network marketing business are gonna be severely affected. So the great thing about income and time, and so I always ask people, what do you expect to make in your first 30, 60, 90 days, and then they're one year? I don't go past that. You wanna know why? Because people can't see past that. And it needs to be doable. Sometimes I have people come and tell me they wanna make $5,000 in their first 30 days. I'm like, great. You know what? If you wanna do that in your first 30 days, I need 10 hours a week of income producing activities, which we'll get to here in just a second. And most people can't do that because they have all of the other responsibilities in their life, okay? But if they can give me two to three hours a week, they can make an extra thousand to 1500. That's completely doable. Forgive me, my writing skills are not the best, but you get the idea. Two to three hours a week, let me put a week here so that we are clear, which equates to 10 to 12 hours a month. And let me tell you something, y'all can find it because you need to turn off the TV and stop scroll holding. But the best part is, is that if you can do that, you break this down, that's about $100 an hour. I don't know most PhDs that are making that kind of money. So again, your income and time must match and be congruent. So I think we've pretty much gone you know, through those two things. Now, I'm gonna draw a line here. This is a finite line, okay? This is really important for a new market partner, but you know what? If, or, or consultant, if you have not done these, you need to do those. This is really important part of the, of the first three steps of the seven step process. Right now, your income producing activities not IPAs, not beer, sorry. But this is gonna be really number four here, which is number one of the IPAs, is your contact list. Guys, this is so important. And you need to keep adding people to your contact list all the time. But if you're brand new, 24 hours, just 20 names. Who do you want on your dream team? Who do you want to be, you know, your Avengers? Who do you want to be, um, you know, your superstar team that you want to work with that you know that they're hungry or they're smart or driven, they're positive, they're outgoing. Those are the people that you want on, you know, for the first 20 people that you reach out to. But your contact list is everyone that you know. And don't tell me that you don't know a lot of people because social media, on average, right now we know five to 700 people. I haven't even talked to that many people yet. But your contact list, I love using this acronym. And for uh, space uh, saving, I'm just gonna list it here. Frank, friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, and your kids. Yes, I pimp out my kids. And let's use Frank's because now we've got to incorporate social media. So you think about all this, y'all, we know a lot of people, whether you realize it or not, knitting club, Bible studies, sports pools, um, baseball, softball teams, you know, church activities. There's so many different ways we know so many people. I, I think about who you know at your chiropractor's office or dentist's office or, you know, whatever the case may be. Maybe you're in an exercise class or yoga. We know so many people. They go on the list. The more that's on your list, the, big, it, the bigger your paycheck is. So the great thing about your contact list is that you're always adding to it. And you know how I add people very simply to my contact list? I just find out which social media platform they're on and I friend them and I send them a message. They will watch you. I don't try to prospect them the first time I meet them. That's a mistake. I just wanna get them in my circle. So your contact list is key. Now with those 20 people and those key people that are on your contact list, you want to get your presentation in front of them, one-on-one. -on -one. And you gotta start that right away as soon as you're in business. And your person, your upline is what we call it in the industry that sponsors you into the business, 
They want to be with you and walk you through it. They want you to be duplicatable and presenting that same exact business information that you have to share with someone that's old or brand new. If you do not have a simple 10 to 12 minute explanation, create one. Just tell them. Tell them how they can spend money with you, save money with you, or make money with you. Keep it simple. That's what it's all about. So you're gonna present. The sixth step is your ribbon cutting or your business launch. This is key, especially when you get started. And the reason is, is that when you get started, you hit that first level of leadership in your company. Huge. You need to have something that is face-to-face -to, -face to launch your business. I'm not talking about a party. That has kind of gone by the wayside. There are still a lot of great party plan companies out there. God bless you. It's awesome. And you know what? It's a little bit more work involved when you're doing that. But the best part is, is that when you first get started, you have to launch your business just like any online store, just like any brick and mortar. This is key. Keep it simple. Have it at your house. Have it at your favorite restaurant. Have it at a community center. Um, a lot of Starbucks or Paneras have community rooms. But again, um, just provide a couple of appetizers. Everybody comes. They get a cup of coffee, they get a glass of wine, you present your business for about 10 to 15 minutes, tell them why, back up here, you're doing it, and then ask them to become a part of it. And it's real simple, like I said. And I go into this in more detail. Um, and you can either spend, B, save, or C, make. But you give them the option. We're not selling them anything, we're educating them, which is awesome. The uh, second thing is too, is that you should have a secondary uh, date on your calendar for ribbon cutting because it's busy, people get busy, but this should be done within the five to seven days of you signing up. That's critical because you're excited. You're in momentum, it's fun. Here's the other thing. Don't put anything out on social media until after you do this step it's critical because you'll water down your business launch. Now, if you know people that are all over, you can do a private Facebook launch or Zoom launch, but that is a private invitation only. You do not wanna just put it out there on social media. There's a right way to do it. You need to tell a story and you need to give testimonials. Don't just slap, oh, you know, I got my kit for whatever price it is, come join me in my business. You will get blocked and unfriended. Tell a story, show something, okay? So business launch, very important. But the last and most important step here is the follow-up. This is critical, crucial in your business because here's the best part. Most people will quit after the second no. It takes five to seven exposures to get to a yes. So the thing about it is, is that follow-up is key. And if no is the answer right now, they're not saying no to you. They're not saying, they're saying no to your opportunity or your product, but you just ask, hey, you know what? Can I let you know when we have new stuff or specials come out? Ask their permission. And whether you have an email list or a Facebook group or whatever the case may be, you can add them in there, but just ask their permission. People do not like being sent out emails or being added to groups without their permission. So this is really important is that follow-up. So I wanna just real quick recap, brand new consultant rep or partner, within 24 hours of them signing up, I wanna have their why, okay? You know what, and it, within that why, I wanna know how much money they wanna make in their first 30 days, okay? First 20 names here, number four, 20 names, 24 hours, and the date for their ribbon cutting. Brand new people within 24 hours, one, four, and six. And if they don't get that back to me within 24 hours, I tell them, contact me when you have those three things done, then we'll talk. I don't wanna waste your time, I don't wanna waste my time, because time is one commodity you can't get back. But you guys, I'm telling you right now, if you follow this right here, 
these seven simple steps and you become an expert. And a lot of us are already experts in these. We just don't know it yet. We meet people all the time. We just put them into our contact list. We know why we want to do things, but we haven't done them because we haven't found the right vehicle. Well, guess what? If you have passion, commitment, and consistency for the company that you're with, and you follow these seven steps, you guys, you can create a multi-million dollar team and you can create a multi-million dollar income or more or less or whatever it is. It is up to you because you're on this journey for your reason, not anybody else's. And all of our reasons are different. So I hope that this kind of breaks it down and makes it super simple. I am not into a lot of training in this business. I feel that if you keep it simple, you keep it fun, and you can have something that's completely duplicatable, you cannot not be successful. And yes, I just use a double negative. So you get what I mean. So thank you guys so much. This is Tony Van Schoik, Network Marketing Professional, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.